Welcome back. Uh, I got pockets in two days, and um, I'm just after last week's um, Kings Cup, uh, and especially that final. I've worked on my break even more, and um, I think I've got maybe even more of a stronger deadly break. We'll see what happens. It could go against me as well if I don't get balls in. So uh, it's been working on that. Um, so obviously coming back Tuesday and really only having yesterday to rest. Um, I wanted to put in a bit of time today and a bit of time tomorrow, Friday, and then got pockets on the weekend. So um, sorted out my break, I'm happy with that. And now um, just, yeah, getting back onto the Supremes again, because there is a little bit of a difference. But yeah, I've got a got a, another practice session tomorrow night and um, a coaching session with someone as well. They're coming around here for an hour. And uh, yeah, next you'll see of me, it's possibly on the way up to Pockets Saturday morning. See you then. All right, welcome back on the road again. Um, Mark, you want to pull your bikes down? This time, yeah. <laughs> Spiders this time. Yeah. Um, off to Pockets, we'll be there shortly in 15 minutes. Mark has got his first match at 10.45 and I'm at 12. So I thought I'd do the nice thing and uh, drive him in there early. Um, your two matches, you've got uh, Mikey Cacciola in the first one. Steve Woods. Steve Woods the first one, Mikey first round tomorrow. Yeah, and I have uh, Nathan McMahon from WA. Very, very talented player. Um, one of the top players over there, actually. And uh, tomorrow I have uh, Healy White again. I think I've played him, you know what? I think I've played him three or four times. This is number four, number which is four. mathematically astronomical. Crazy. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so uh, just quickly give us a quick rundown on how um, you think the, the Woodsy and the Mikey match may go, or and then past maybe wins and losses you've had with them. Uh, well, with Woodsy, on the very first event, the one that he won, he beat me in the uh, in the semi seven nil, <clears throat> so that was that was pretty painful. Um, I took my losses back then. It was only a year ago, but I took my losses back then a lot more, uh, a lot more to heart than I do now. But since then, I think we've played maybe probably played maybe four four times or so since then, and I've I've won them all. Yeah. Uh, I actually feel more comfortable against the um, the favourites. You know, the, your, your Woodsies, your Sages, your Bennies, your Rusties, why you know, is yourself. That, why is that? Because a lot of people, you know, I think have this problem as well. Sometimes they play better against certain players and, and they play against, but you know, some... Perhaps when I play those guys, probably the top six, uh, top six or seven, I don't feel like there's a favourite in the match. Yeah, I think it's less based, pressure. Yeah, I think there's less pressure. If I lose, I'm losing to, you know, um, someone like me, just like a mirrored version of me, basically. And I think uh, I think I do feel more comfortable, and um, I tend to play my better pool actually uh, on the on the camera tables and against the better players. So yeah. hoping that happens again. Yeah. And Mikey, um, I played Mikey twice. Uh, I think maybe both times in a semi or a quarters or something. I can't really remember. Both matches have been high quality, and he won the first one, and I won the second one. So we're 50-50 there. It's going to be a cracker as well. He's such a, he's not only a nice, one of the nicest guys on the tour, but he's uh, a very talented player as well, Mikey. Yeah, um, yeah. and uh, with mine, Nathan, he's, uh, yeah, like I said before, he's one of one of WA's uh, top top guns up there, and um, I think he's he's done really well as well. It may not look it, but he's uh, he's knocked off a lot of top players. Uh, I think yourself. He played very well against. Yeah, me. yeah. saw that. Very uh, impressed. He, he was uh, definitely the man of the match there. Was it Rusty? He... Yeah, he beat Rusty in the first round and then yeah. Tim in the second round yeah. and then me in the third round and then he actually lost in a shootout against anybody in the yeah. semis who won it. And I think the shootout was both like 23 second shootouts or something. Yeah, that was, uh, I, I would have picked Nathan to win, win that if he got through the shootout. Um, he was a stock fire that day, just uh, playing some really good balls. So, yeah, I have uh, my work cut out for me today. I'm, um, I've, I've prepped as much as I could, can, and uh, yeah, look, I'm obviously going into the match feeling good, um, and I'm 
suppose Nathan would be too. So that's going to be a that's going to be a ripper of a match. I haven't played Nathan yet in this uh, in this series. So and tomorrow I have Healy, and again I've played him a few times now. Uh, he got me last time. Played uh, quite well. Shot, uh, what a shot maker. Healy is Healy uh, shot maker. He played. Oh my God, I wish it was on the camera. I think someone was recording it. The very first frame, he had the uh, the black ball finger there pretty much where where my finger is there and the white ball was all the way up here and he cut it from here the black ball all the way down there and, and he was he was well. trying to snook it up yeah. here I don't know how we did it I could give him ball in hand somewhere around here and uh, no chance to get it in and one of the one of the best shots I've ever seen yeah unbelievable and then I think he had the match from then on he put me on tilt yeah yeah <laughs> so, I saw it I saw your head I was a guy he, he yeah. made my head explode from that moment onwards um, that and one shot one four frames. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that was worth four frames. So Healy, it's just he's a he's an amazing player, great shot maker. So if uh, if things are on for him, uh, he's going to knock him in, and there's not much I can do about it. But if uh, like like any anyone, if uh, they don't make those uh, those outs, uh, I'm going to do my best to obviously um, put a put a foot forward in the in the match and, and try and take. All I want is. Uh, one is chances, so just one chance in a frame, and let me do my best whether to work myself into that frame um, or whether to win that frame in that visit. So, what do you think might be the uh, the key difference with your Nathan today? Uh, I think. Do you think you have an edge on him in a certain area? Is it way the frames? You sort of hope they go in a certain direction. I think if I can put Nath under pressure early. With maybe a two-nil lead, I think um, I can allow him to. And this is not just him; this is most players as well that I would do this as well. Um, if I was say two-nil up, and the out was a bit fifty-fifty in the third frame, I'd probably hold back and allow them to actually extend themselves a little bit more to try and get that, you know, get a win on the board. And they might overextend and therefore make another mistake, and then I can try and capitalise on it. But sometimes the table plays out just too open, and you got to go. You got to try and go a game anyway. But I think um, I think if Nathan gets off to a good start, I'm going to be in trouble. And if I think I get off to a good start, I think he'll be in trouble. So I'm just hoping for a good start. And I think whoever takes their chances early, I think will actually not run away with the match, but I think we'll win. So. Forward to it. I think Nate's a good guy. He's always he wears his heart on his sleeve. He's and, actually um, a lot like you. I was going to say that. Like you. But uh, he is a lot like me, and I actually admire that in a player. I like I like people that fight. I remember um, playing Jamie. I'm not. I can't pronounce his last name. I think it's uh, uh, Jamie Butner, or I'm not exactly sure how to say it from NT. Uh, I played him last week. Cash, uh, cash matches, and uh, he rocked up with his earphones ready to play, and it actually took me off guard a little bit. Like I expected someone just to rock up, you know, like him just to rock up and then to start playing, have a bit of a joke around. But he was serious, and that actually reminded reminded me of me back in the day. Um, you're here to play a, a good player, and you want to take full advantage of the situation and learn everything you can, win or lose. And he could have won that match. Uh, he kept breaking down in key moments towards the end. And uh, we spoke about that afterwards. And um, yeah, he was such a nice guy too. And uh, it was uh, he came prepared. And just coming prepared and looking like you want to play can actually be those uh, those one percenters that get you over the line. So yeah, we're um, we're pretty much nearly there now. So the next you'll see of us is uh, well, you'll see probably more of me. Is uh, going back home with his other woman, uh, Susie, uh, later on today. So uh, if I can maybe get a bit of a rundown from Mark later, I'll uh, I might interview him. We'll see how we go. He can give us a rundown. But um, until we see you next. Alrighty. Um, my first match against uh, Nathan didn't go to plan. Uh, he actually got that two nil. Uh, jump on me, but um, I had chances. I actually had chances in in just about every single frame. So 
Um, I can't be too disappointed that I lost. I did have chances, it was on me. Um, Nathan did what he needed to do. A caliber player um, of his level, he's going, he's going to uh, beat anyone if they're gonna give him back those chances. So um, I had a, an opportunity sort of early on to step my authority in the match and um, didn't take it. He got a two nil lead, I got it back. Um, but then was sort of behind the eight ball the whole time. I had chances and some frames and actually gave them back to him and he took them um, and ended up losing the match 7-4. So, uh, look, I felt good. I, uh, I've i done, you know, the practice that I need to, but at the end of the day, if you don't take those chances when they're given to you, then you, you can't beat anyone, not, not at this level. So am I disappointed? Yes, but... Um, I'm not disappointed that I've done, you know, I've done the work because I know that, you know, tomorrow's a new day. Um, start again, reset, and uh, that's what it's all about. So um, what else could I have done in Nathan's match? Just not make, not make those mistakes. If I get those opportunities, take them. Um, yeah, just it's disappointing, but... The thing is, this year, um, there's the main tables with the, the TV lights and the cameras and all that stuff, and then there's the outside the outside tables, and um, they actually do play a lot different. And the it's going to sound weird. It's not a cop-out or anything, but it's different playing on the outside tables than it is playing on the inside tables under the arena lights and the cameras. Uh, it's a different pressure. It's a different feel. And um, I feel that I do perform better under the spotlight. Um, out on the other tables, it's um, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit, uh, yeah, I can't really put my my foot on it, but it's, it is different being out there. And um, yeah, just in a different environment. So I couldn't, uh, couldn't get it done today. Uh, Justin went on to uh, win the match. Um, or win the win the win the final. He had a couple of close ones. He had a six red shootout with uh, Sean Dempsey. Um, Sean Dempsey ended up fouling and um, losing uh, that six red shootout. Um, he shot like about a thirty five second one, and and Justin did a, a good one around twenty three seconds. So, um, and uh, Mark end up end up losing uh, his quarterfinals against Kurt Dunham in a close one there. Um, that match, yeah, I commentated actually. Um, <laughs> that's what happens when you lose. <laughs> you start doing the hard yards. That's for you, uh, Dakota. Kurt actually ended up going down 7-0 to Barney, the very next one. That was uh, another crazy match, and uh, Barney ended up losing to uh, Justin in the final. So, um, yeah, congrats, Justin. Uh, he's winning everything at the moment, playing well, playing solid. Um, my loss after the King's Cup, I actually went back and practised uh, my break, got that even better, um, practised a few other things. I only, only had a couple of days to do it, but, um, yeah, that made me want to push a bit harder, so... Uh, that's that's all that's all you can do in this situation. Um, anyway, tomorrow I have Healy. I think we said that I've, this will be my fourth time I'm playing him. I'm pretty sure it's three. So uh, I've beaten him the first time and he's beaten me the second. So it'll be a good one tomorrow. Um, yeah. Anyway, we'll see how we go tomorrow. Hopefully I can uh, win a few uh, matches and um, yeah, we'll talk you through them. So see you tomorrow. Day two, here we go. All right, I'm in the car. Can only mean one thing. I, uh, yeah, end up losing that match too. So uh, I broke at the start and uh, ran the rack. He broke, ran a rack. Um, and uh, I did have a chance to go 2-1 up and uh, land a little bit short on the black um, and gave that one away. And then um, from then on, uh, the momentum changed a little bit and uh, there was a, <clears throat> a bit of a key moment for me to uh, the very next frame to sort of um, get a bit of a lead uh, 
Well, I got it back to Toowoomba from from um, yeah, losing uh, the fourth frame. I think it was. Uh, I had a chance to get in the lead, and um, I played a. I could have made the out. He had one ball left on the table. I could have made the out. Uh, it was a little bit dodgy, but I thought I'd. I thought I'd play the percentages here, and um, and I pushed the boat out too much, and I, I played a good safety, um, left the white at the one end of the table, and he come off, the, obviously the back rail and back up and hit his ball, but he hit his ball and half balled uh, a black and, a, and one of my other balls that were there, and he knocked in his ball, and he pushed the black up towards the, the top of the table, and uh, I probably only pushed it maybe about a foot up the table, but it, it had just come away from another ball and allowed it to be on, so he could pop that as well. So that one actually really hurt, and I think changed the match very quickly. And I think I won like one out of the next three or four after that. Uh, he was Healy was just doing Healy things basically. Just uh, see a see a scenario, shoot, see a scenario, shoot, and. Uh, Every time he went into some balls to break them up or to, to do whatever he needed to do, it seemed to work. Um, and when, like I said, when, when things like that happen, there's not much I can do about it. Um, I had a you know a chance or two here or there to maybe sneak a, a frame towards the end, but every sh every safety I tried, it just didn't work out. Um, there was a another frame sort of in the middle. Uh, my brakes were were pretty good, but weren't getting balls in. Um, throughout the, the middle part of it and that hurts um, there was another one that actually hurt as well I broke beautifully because I've been obviously uh, practicing the break and um, I know this can be bad for me if I don't get balls in and having good splits and it actually happened a couple of times today as well uh, put me out of the back foot pretty quickly in that match um, one that comes to mind was halfway through it I broke uh, beautiful spread the white ball got kicked by another yellow it stopped the white ball got kicked by another yellow and then got kicked by a second yellow that was moving up the rail this far and dropped the white in and then he just trickled the balls in and, and took that frame um, so I broke the balls nicely landed the white where I wanted to do uh, where I wanted it in a way um, no danger but it got kicked unfortunately got kicked in and he rolled the balls in so there was a few frames there um, that that actually stung and um, Someone like Healy is just, in a way, just plays with no care in the world, and that actually can be a good thing. And I wish I could actually do that, and sort of tried to do a little bit of that in a way this weekend. But uh, losing two first round matches, I never really got the chance to sort of, um, you know, in a way, either practice what I've been preaching or, you know, I don't know, like I'm. Disappointed to be out. Like I, I did, I've been putting in work, as we know. Um, but I've been putting in time, which is good. Is it a bad thing that I, I, I went out first round, first rounds? No, it's never a bad thing. What can I do from it? Well, not much, other than have a few days break and, and reset. I've got the last of the Pockets Pro Series on in in a month from now. Uh, events 9 and 10 um, yeah so I've got state singles next week so the practice that I'm doing is never wasted um, everything that I'm doing is basically slowly trying to improve my game by half a percent here half a percent there and um, yeah just just try and get better and more consistent but obviously you need to win those first round matches and like I said it's very hard playing on the outer the outer tables um, than it is playing on the inner ones. Uh, there's more pressure on the inner ones, and um, I, I feel that you know that it's a nicer, nicer setup uh, under the camera lights and stuff like that than it is out on the outer tables. But anyway, all the best to Healy. Um, wish him well, and um, yeah, if he keeps doing what he's doing against me. I'm, I'm sure he'll uh, he'll go a long way. Um, and maybe be the third New Zealand uh, player to win this year, and that would be pretty, uh, pretty amazing. So, all the best, mate. Um, at the moment, now I'm on my way to just have lunch with my wife. 
Uh, she came down with uh, one of my sponsors and um, he met me down here as well. Um, Elias from uh, Rosa Mexicana and we're just gonna go to his restaurant now and have something to eat, some beautiful food there as well. Oh man, I can't wait. So, gonna go spend the rest of the afternoon with the wife. Um, so, still take positives out of that. And um, again, you know, look, these, these videos, these vlogs, uh, these things are gonna happen. Um, my practice felt good. I'm out both rounds, first round, first round, bang, bang. That's the way it goes. I'm, I'm, I'm going to put this video up, of course, and this is all part of learning. You know, people said, oh, you know, if you don't win, you're not gonna put it up. No, that's not the case. Uh, whether I win or lose, it goes up. It's all about learning. It's all about, you know, the, the journey. You know, I might do this for the next five years and not get a result. I might, you know, get a result soon. And you guys will be here along with me um, through the good and the bad, and that's what it's all about. So uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little one. Um, again, uh, you know, send through some comments. Let me know what you uh, would like to see more of in the past. Um, obviously, there's a few tournaments coming up, so I'll do a few vlogs, and then in the meantime, I'll do some rack and runs and, and some other things. I've, I've been getting some messages come through of, of, of people letting me know what they'd like uh, to see as well, if they can do something on like the Q or the Q-tip or, or uh, something else. And I've got, I've got some notes down, and over the next few weeks or a month, I'll, I'll start putting those videos out. So any other suggestions, um, yeah, feel free. I'm happy to do this uh, for many years to come if uh, people are enjoying it. So do I see any of this as a failure? No, it's all success. Everything you do um, in any of this is always a success. It's just how you look at it. So yes, I have bigger visions than what happened this weekend, but at the end of the day, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll learn from it. I'll learn from now trying to be tougher if I get put on the outside tables. Try try to do something a little bit maybe different. Um, not sure exactly what that is just yet. Uh, but in the meantime, between now and a month from now, I'll be uh, probably just working more on my um, my consistency uh, with the mapping. We can always improve mapping. So that that's always uh, something that we can all do. So that's what I'll be doing. And then if I could see something three or four seconds quicker, maybe see an out better, then that's gonna be all positives for the next one. So it's not a fail, it's uh, a learning curve. And um, without failure, you'll never be successful. Remember that.